Learn English with a fra. Advanced English phrases and words. Good morning, teacher. How are you? Good morning, Lisa. I'm good. In fact, I'm happy to be here with you. Excellent. We're here because in the last video, you promised something, right? That's correct. I said I was going to teach you advanced words and phrases in English. That's true. That's why we're here today, so you can teach us advanced vocabulary. I am sure that our subscribers are eager to improve their English with advanced vocabulary. Yeah, I'm sure they want to improve their English, so you guys can take notes or repeat the phrases and words. This video is perfect for English learners who want to improve their conversation skills. Basically, we always get nervous when we speak in English, so some phrases you can use are. Bear with me. If you're speaking in front of a group of people, and maybe you're feeling a little anxious about it. You can definitely use this phrase to ask people to be patient with you just to buy yourself a little bit more time. It's like to say, be patient with me. But of course it is a more advanced way to say it. Now, it can be really nerve-wracking when someone asks you a question that you don't know the answer. Especially if it's in a professional context. You might just freeze and have no idea what to say. But there is an easy solution, and that's this phrase right here. I'm not sure about that actually, but I can find out. It works really well and sounds advanced. Or when you don't remember something you can say, it's on the tip of my tongue. Or I had something I wanted to say, but I've lost it. Hopefully it'll come back. It can feel embarrassing if you're being harsh to yourself, but you can play it cool with this phrase right here. Another phrase, do you mind if I jump in? It is used to interrupt someone. For example, if you're listening to two people talking about a specific topic and you don't agree, and you want to share your opinion, then you say, sorry, do you mind if I just jump in? Or when you want to ask something, instead of saying, can I ask you a question? You can say, I hope you don't mind me asking but, for example. I hope you don't mind me asking, but how old are you? That sounds much better. Oh gosh, what about when you forget something that you know you shouldn't have forgotten? For example, a person's name. Instead of saying, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. What is it? In fact, that sounds a little rude. Well, you can use a different expression. You can say my apologies, I've completely forgotten your name. That's much better. Now, if you're in a conversation with a bunch of native English speakers or advanced English users, then they might be speaking really quickly and those words that you can't fully hear. Or words you don't recognize and you just feel like you're in over your head. Then you can say, I have to admit this is a little beyond me. You're saying it's too much for you. Or you can say, I can't follow along. Let's end it, okay? To end a conversation really fast. If someone asked for your opinion about a topic, and you don't actually feel able to talk about it. 
You can say, it's interesting listening to you talk, but to be honest. I don't know much about this topic. I've never really thought about this much before but I'm enjoying listening to you talk about it. It's pretty hard to express my ideas about this topic in English but I'll try my best. I'm not well versed on this topic so I'd rather hold off on saying anything until I know a bit more. Those expressions sound much better than just saying I don't know or I don't remember. Now, when there is a misunderstanding, there are some phrases you can use like I think you may have misunderstood what I said. Instead of, you didn't understand me. Or I didn't mean to say that. What I meant was, and then explain it in a different way. Or I'm sorry for the confusion. What I actually meant was, and you continue. Also, you can use an idiom like, I think we've got our wires crossed. Now, when you want to apologize and explain a misunderstanding, you can use. You seem upset. Did I say something wrong? That definitely didn't come out right. I'm so sorry. Or I can't completely understand why you're hurt and I'm deeply sorry for what I said. That sounds like a little more tragic, but it will depend on what you have said. Now, let's imagine you don't want to talk about a specific topic. Maybe you're uncomfortable. Then you can say, I'd rather not talk about this if that's okay. It is polite. Now, if you want to be rude, then you can say, can you stop being an idiot, please? When someone says something we feel uncomfortable about, you can use that expression. Or if it's a difficult topic for you, you say, this topic hits close to home, it's tough for me to talk about. If you want to be more direct, you can say I don't mean to sound rude, but that isn't any of your business. That's a really personal question. I'm not comfortable answering that. I think you're overstepping boundaries with that question. I'd rather not answer that. If you want to end the conversation completely, you're just not interested in talking about this then you could say. I didn't come here today to argue about our different beliefs. To be honest, this conversation is making me really uncomfortable. A useful expression. This isn't the time or the place to get into this discussion. Let's talk about something else, please. And like these expressions, there are a lot more to teach you, but we don't have time. Oh, it's a pity. But we can continue in the next video, right? Can we do it every week? With advanced phrases and words in English? Let us know. Thank you so much. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel. And share this video with a friend and if you want. Take care.